Hi, Dr. Lou here to talk about mastery and tension in games and game design, something that two things that are occasionally opposed. Exploring games seems to be more common now than mastering them, but there are still those who prefer the latter. They want to become experts at playing the game. Further, many games are intended to provide a tension-filled experience. Now, many players prefer comfort to tension, but some want that tension, just as a basketball coach is a tension junkie. It's much easier to, to offer both tension and mastery in a design when there are two players than when there are more than two sides. Two players primarily needs good play balance, good fairness, to be able to offer tension, and if it has some depth, then it can offer mastery. So mastery is a case where players feel in control, where they feel their fate derives from their own actions, and that they can become experts and have a good control over the game in most cases. If you're interested in tension, you want close games, perhaps more influenced or more inclined to random action to reduce the dominance of skill. So rubber banding, which are mechanisms to help people catch up when they're behind, helps tension, but is not good for mastery. Runaway or snowball games, where somebody gets ahead and they just keep getting farther and farther ahead, are not good for tension. And there are other aspects to this. For example, when my wife used to GM Dungeons & Dragons games, she would get frustrated when the player showed mastery and overwhelmed the bad guy. She felt she wasn't holding up the side. She wanted a game that was really close. So, fairly obviously, sometimes tension and mastery can be at odds. I think of two of the most well-known Britannia players at the World Board Gaming Championships, Jim Jordan and Ewan McNay. Jim likes games to be close, down to the wire. Apparently he likes the tension. Ewan likes to overwhelm so that at some point, well before the official end of the game, there's no doubt he has won. Tension is not what he's looking for, at least not in Britannia. Both of them want to master the game, but one wants tension, and the other, whether he wants it or not, tries to make sure that there is no tension. Ewan, who is quite a civilized man, mind you, is kind of like Conan the Barbarian. He wants to crush his enemies, see them fleeing before him, and hear the lamentations of their women. Well, he likes the game to be practically over long before it's over. And I confess, as a player, I'm kind of like Ewan. I want to overwhelm my enemies. I don't like tension at the end. Now, there are lots of other reasons to play games. Uh, exploration, I've already mentioned. Spectacle, where looks count for a lot. Uh, games as pastime, just a way to spend some time. Games as showing off. Games to see what happens next. And I think you can think of others. Of course, games can sometimes deliver one of mastery and tension, sometimes the other. Britannia can accommodate both, but not at one go, unless the session includes three or four masters. And then there can be a lot of tension. For example, in the championship game at the World Board Gaming Championships for Britannia. Usually three or four of those players are masters and the games are often very close. Thanks for listening.